What's up, y'all? Skate Theorists. This is a short one today. It's uh, Frankie Villani for Lucy. And I thought this part was sick. I thought um kind of fits his style. Even the editing just fits like what you picture him to be, like a personality type of thing. I don't know what Lucy is. So, I mean, I guess it's a brand. Maybe I should check him out. But yeah, this part was absolutely sick. And it has one of the crustiest nose grinds I've ever seen. <laughs> that right there is already, that's a pretty uh, sketchy trick. Did I already watch this video? It's like I talk in my head sometimes. Big varial heel. Man, cameras never do, like, everyone knows how high a trash can is. Cameras never do it justice. The do varial heel, and then you do a front side heel. Front side heels are extremely hard. I used to have them, okay. Like, I could land them. Never first try, though. <laughs> That's how I fall. Dramatic as hell. That popover is so sick, and I've been wanting to like try to learn those. Maybe I'd have to learn them on a rail. Uh, there's not really ledges near me. What? What's that? I'm not that great at sliding things, so you gotta slide it quite a bit. You gotta have a lot of control to pop over like that. I honestly feel like he's like a master of popping out and over. I like that little chill chill lip slide another big uh front side heel was that front side or was it switch front side switch front side heel that's crazy that was sneaky you saw how he he uh adjusted his back foot made me think he was gonna flip out then he just went to a 50. See how the editing, oh, there it is. This has got to be the crustiest nose grind. If you've ever seen a crustier nose grind than that, you let me know in the comments. That, that Nothing about that says grind me. <laughs> wow, switch Smith like that. Uh, Frankie's going off for, you know, this little part. I don't know what that guy's saying. It's like a skid or something. I don't really know who that is. Maybe that's a real person. My bad. I don't know. He gave him his business card. He buys junk cars. See? See? Like, pop out master, man. That's so clean. To pop into a crook... Popping into the crook makes a little bit of sense because you got a little bit of lift from the bank, possibly. Oh, beautiful, man. That was beautiful. But then he just popped out so clean. That's a cool spot. I like how they kind of uh, make some custom little spots, you know. People will take it too serious when it's like it has to be a street. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's that guy that was from the skit. He's over here perving over there. I'm just kidding. I don't know that he's a pervert. But he does look suspicious. <laughs> look at you, you think you trust that guy around your kids? I'm sorry, guy. He's probably a fine person. <laughs> just... See, the green sky, too, like, you don't see that, man. And they just, like, this is so sick. The whole part is sick. I love it. It's creative. Um, it doesn't take itself too seriously. A lot of skaters, like, they think too much about this stuff. I feel like he's just having fun. Like, they could have filmed this pretty fast. Going that fast, though, on anything over grass like that where you're grinding over grass where it's easy to stick that's crazy man 
You saw dirt kick up. I like to... Uh, you wouldn't think I had so much to say about such a small part. I really like the part. But I like how it's gotten more ridiculous in the edits. Like it started out... It had the weird acting like intro type of thing. With the pigs. Then it had that... <laughs> that creepy guy. And now it's just like everything looks like a rap music video or something. Like the sky looks like a lyrical lemonade almost. I'm surprised they're not putting like fire effects on the wheels. <laughs> that trick was really hard to tell what he did though. Nolly? Which way is he going? Nolly bored. Like he did that really last second. Made it hard to tell. Those are extremely hard. I feel like he almost got to do him down a handrail because I was, I was thinking about trying him flat one day. They look so easy, man. I might mean, kick flipped into one too. See, I love this mini, just a super tiny rail. Ah, oh, dude. Let me finish my story. So, I was gonna try one and I didn't. That's my story. I say I'm gonna finish my story like I had anything to say, but they're really hard, like popping over Nolly. I, I just thought it was going to be so easy because I've seen it in so many skate videos. I'm like, gosh, oh, it looks simple, but it's not, man. And he heel flipped into it. Oh, man, I'd love to skate that rail. I rewinded, though, because, I mean, that's sick. But I loved watching this Wally to Krug. It was sick, man. That's sketchy, too. Did he pop that? I gotta slow mo this. I think that might be a. I for I don't know how to say it without saying Chinese nollie. But it looked like a Chinese nollie flip. And if that's true, it makes it way crazier. So yeah, we gotta slow mo this. Yeah, what is that called? Let's see. If you weren't watching this video with me, you might have thought he just nolly healed it, dude. Let's see that beauty again. Ah, wow. Wow. That is absolutely crazy. That makes that... I'm pretty sure that's the ender. That makes the ender so much crazier that he didn't pop. I didn't catch that the first time, actually. I watched it. That blew my mind. Hmm. I think that's my favorite ender of all time. Because I love doing that trick. I can't heel flip them. And I definitely wouldn't do it on a big gap like that. Wow. What do you think? What's your favorite ender? I mean, obviously it's not as big. But just like, as far as cool goes, this might be my favorite ender of all time. That is so the first time I watched it, I thought that was a little underwhelming because I, th I thought it was just a nollie heel. Like, it's cool he has to land in between the walls, but seeing that it's like a whatever it's called, Chinese nollie heel, man, that's crazy. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. That might be my favorite ender of all time. That was insane.